Good afternoon, guys. I am still in my classroom making the video. Today you're going to learn about the agricultural revolution. The objective is you'll be able to compare lifestyles of hunter-gatherers with those of early settlers in agricultural communities. And so this video, along with what you've done in class, should help you understand the difference between the two. <clears throat> Questions we're going to ask today. What? When? Where? Who? And how? Finally, you're going to answer, why? So let's start with what? On your paper, there's a piece of paper, you're going to write what. Underneath it, you're going to write some information. So what? Agriculture revolution refers to farming and the ability to make a consistent food supply. Revolution is a change that has an enormous effect on people's lives. When? Neolithic times was between 8,000 BC and lasted until 4,000 BC. Paleolithic meant old stone. Neolithic means new stone. So if you have a timeline, you have, as I hit the wrong button on my iPad, you have the Paleolithic And then you have 8,000 BC, we have the Neolithic. The real change was the shift from hunting and gathering to systematic agriculture. And I have a comic for you. I did not draw this. This is from alucomics.com. And this Oog's restaurant burned Mastodon like mother used to make. They started moving towards farming, so we wouldn't necessarily have burned Mastodon every night. You would have crops like in the distance, and you would have plus other food. The awesome thing about that was you didn't have to wait until somebody came and hunted for you. You would have a food source that would be there time and time again. So where did this happen? In Southwest Asia around 8000 BC, people began growing wheat and barley. They owned pigs, goats, uh, cows and sheep. 2,000 years later, in 6,000 BC, we see the Nile River, Central Africa, China, Mexico, and Central America. Egypt growing again wheat and barley, Central America yams and bananas, China millet, and Central and Mexico squash, potatoes, and corn. You don't necessarily need to know what they produced, but that they did produce this food. You can also kind of see what, what is native to that region. Here we have a map, and you can see all the places they started. And you have a key right here. Key. Who? That should be a capital. Who? I have another comic for you. Don't believe everything you read. Do you guys really think he fought that animal? It needs tusks. Early farmers, people stopped being nomads and started settling. So, no more nomads. The biggest civilization was found in Southwest Asia, and that would be Jericho. Well, between Jericho and Catalhoek. Jericho was found between Israel and Jordan on the West Bank, modern day, and Catalhoek, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, is found in present day Turkey. 6,000 people lived there. Mud and mud brick houses and a lot of art. Here's an artist rendering what it may have looked like. If you notice, the people are on the roofs. They didn't have front doors, that way animals couldn't like walk in. They moved by moving on the roofs. So you could walk to your friend's house by crawling on the roofs, which is really kind of cool. How? Man, I'm not doing good with the, um, the capitalization. How did satellite life help? Satellite life helped provide a greater sense of security through food and community life. Because there's more food, now everyone has to worry about farming or hunting. People began to specialize in different fields. You had people in the arts, you had traders, you had farmers, you had craftspeople. So you'd set a life, greater security, more food, then everyone has to worry. People specialize. ROG, you knew you and new ROG specialization group. Since you have people specializing, you're the people who farmed. 
People have farmed. Yes, that's a flower. People who hunted. Stick figure animals. And then you have people do other things. Make baskets. Make weapons. Teach. How did this help? Things are now invented. You have room for time. You have time for people to invent projects. They invented digging tools like a shovel. Things to grind flowers so that you can now have dough and bread. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's my grinding flour. <laughs> Metal and copper work for tools, and then we learned that tin plus copper in fire, make it really hot, equals bronze. What else changed? Gender roles began to form. You had particular jobs for men, and those included watching over the fields and protection, and each of jobs for women. And that was managing food and making sure the children were safe, making clothing, etc. Why? Why is this important? That's your turn. On your own paper or on Edmodo in the comment section below, why do you think people are happy to settle in the villages? Why do you think part farming happened in particular parts of the world? And why do you think bronze tools and weapons would have been important? And that's it for me. Have a great day.